There have always been people who find evolution hard to believe, although it's more than thoroughly proven. At first, not even Darwin could believe it. So how did he come to write and publish one of the most important and controversial theories in science history? Charles Darwin had always wanted to study nature, even though his father wanted him to be a doctor or a priest. Defying him, young Darwin embarked on a ship sent to chart the coasts of South America because he wanted to collect and study exotic animal specimens. What he found on the five-year trip would lead him to question his beliefs. What if species weren't as permanent and perfect as everyone thought? In Argentina, Darwin found fossils of what looked like giant armadillos and sloths. Clearly, these animals had existed at some point, but they didn't anymore. This made Darwin suspect species had changed over time, in line with some existing but unpopular theories. He had also seen mockingbirds, and when he got to the Galapagos, he found different mockingbird species on the islands, distinct among each other and from the mainland species. Because of their sheer similarity and closeness, Darwin hypothesized that they had a common ancestor whose specimens had flown to the islands and changed there. However, something was missing. How did this change happen? Darwin's inspiration came from an economist, Thomas Malthus, who believed that humans reproduced faster than their food supply. Darwin realized that animals always breed beyond their available resources, so the individuals who were better at surviving would be the ones to reproduce. This way, they would pass on any traits that had helped them survive. Everything fit together, but there was a final hurdle. Darwin, like the society he lived in, was deeply religious, and all the evidence he'd found contradicted Christian beliefs. It would take him over 20 years to write and publish his revolutionary book on the origin of species, but when he finally did, it became one of the most influential scientific treatises of all time.